going to create some kind of background and I, I'm working on wallpaper lining which is the really really heavyweight sturdy stuff. I'm just tuning in really to see how I feel because I like to create in the moment and how I feel and it's not always easy to get in touch with how we feel. However, my fingers can be trusted to know without me knowing in a thinking way what I need. So I'm going to go and choose something, not sure what yet, and bring it back and let my fingers help me make a background. So if you'd like to do the same, just trust your fingers, they won't let you down. They've got a direct line to our unconscious. Whatever needs to be expressed, our fingers will show us what it is. Okay. So I've brought a round, a big round brush, and I've also got some papers. This is what I've brought. So some these bits here. That's got a little a wolf there on the side, and a tree, and a bit of black and white here and these pieces here which are torn up from these are prints from art that I've made and then some tissue which has got writing all over it and also this which this is what I came across first and from Lowry it's a tissue gift wrap with lots of people walking all over the place, little dog. So people walking everywhere and and I noticed that I, I wanted it and I didn't want it all at the same time. So it speaks to me, for me, as I am with it now, of mundane. Routine, mundane, same old, repeating patterns, and I notice a sort of dragging down feeling in me of like, oh, oh my goodness. I sort of, I don't want to conform, don't make me conform. So that's what's going on in me as I look at this. So I'm going to trust my fingers, as I do. And I'm going to use the Pepeo Gel Medium as a sort of glue. But you might like to use school glue or Mod Podge or whatever you like to use. And I'm going to get this on here as a background. I'm just going to make a start. Oh yes. The word conforming is really around for me right now. And a resistance to conform. I don't want to conform. Don't make me conform. Just noticing what's happening inside of me. I really believe that our fingers can be trusted to speak for me speak for us. I believe this. If we can just allow ourselves to do whatever needs to be expressed will come out. Hmm. So yeah, just interested about the resistance going on in me. Don't want to conform. Very definite message. I like that. Even though I almost fought my fingers and didn't want to bring it. You could notice, if you want to, how you feel, what, what comes up in you as you add papers or add paint, whatever it is you've decided to do. So another way that I work is in layers. So I think about us in terms of that 
onion concept. So we've got layers and layers around our truest self. And we kind of lose sight of who we are because of all the layers that get added to us by mixing with others, relating with others. So being in relationship with parents, caregivers, that gets in the way of our truest self. So just keep adding your papers until it feels done. Your fingers will let you know. So this feels like me, this pink, saying no, 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 I'm not doing that stuff, not conforming, don't make me, yeah, I want to be even more crinkly up rather than neat and tidy. Love the crinkles. Oh yeah, really enjoying making them all crinkly. So you might like to notice, are you are you making yours crinkly and wrinkly or are you wanting yours to be all smooth and neat and tidy? There's no right or wrong, but just noticing can be useful. It's like, oh yeah. I want everything to be all ironed out flat. I'm just kind of lifting it up and then letting it flop back down. And wherever it sort of flops down is where I flatten it out. I'm really enjoying this bit. Yeah, I want to cover everything. Kind of resisting and rebelling against what I was told I should and had to and must be. So just keep going with the layers until it feels like you've you've got enough on there. Just let it be as crinkly as you want it to be. As well adding our or as I'm adding my layer here it feels like a very definite no um, my body's saying no 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 I like this layer this layer of me just go with your impulses I just had an impulse to drum all that down So these are actually prints from a painting that I made, a mixed media, about my, my essence of myself, my soul. So this feels really good to have these parts of me in here speaking for me of who I truly am. Began with the Lowry people and I've ended up with lots of layered pink colours. I feel like there's something missing so I'm going to go looking if you get that sense that you want more or something but you don't know what it is we don't need to know in a thinking way but we can let our fingers go in search of that thing for us in search I feel like I need something definite around the edges I 
I'm almost seeing that as two eyes and a mouth. I wonder what the eyes can see. I wonder what, under what the mouth would like to say. I feel like it's saying, we're with you, Cass. We're with you, 100%. Be true to you. This is uh, amethyst colour glitter. I want some texture. I'm going to put some eyebrows on those eyes. Glittery, sparkly eyebrows. So, whenever you've finished layering, just leave it flat, let it dry. And we'll meet back here very, very soon. Hello, I'm back. Couldn't leave it alone. I feel like I need to free it. It feels trapped. Stuck. In here. Oh, that feels good. There's a lot of feeling of needing to be free around this one. Oh, that feels better. So if you have any of those kind of feelings, just if you can, trust them and go with them. So you're listening to yourself. Oh, that feels lovely, much better.